Investigates tonight is examining safety concerns with a popular handgun that's used by police that allegedly fires on its own without the trigger being pulled. Our Mike Baudet found local cases and talked with a law enforcement officer who survived after her gun went off without warning. In the process of removing my weapon is when it fired. Marcy Badness's life changed forever instantly. When I smelt the gunpowder and the blood smell mixed together, my first reaction was somebody shot me, shot me through one of my windows. It happened after the sheriff's deputy in Virginia, a seven year veteran of the department, arrived for class at the training academy in February 2018. She was sitting in her cruiser, removing her holstered weapon from her belt, planning to leave it in the trunk while she went inside. She says her six hour P320 pistol fired on its own into her thigh, shattering her femur. I couldn't feel my leg at all. There was complete numbness all the way down to my toes. She spent close to a month in the hospital and at a rehab and has undergone four surgeries so far. There's three screws, one that goes into my knee and two that go into my femur. You're still on a road to recovery. Yes, every day. Five investigates reviewed court records and media accounts and found 36 reports of six hour P320 handguns firing without a trigger pull since 2016. The incidents occurred all over the country, from New England to the West Coast, in 19 states. 26 of the surprise discharges involved P320s carried by police officers trained in the use of firearms. And more than half these incidents resulted in bullet wounds for the officers and civilians, many serious and some life-altering. This is a gun that uh, has a very clear propensity for firing without the trigger being pulled. That can never happen, and it has happened many times. Attorney Jeff Bagnell represented Marcy Badness in her civil suit against Sig Sauer. The gunmaker settled the suit for an undisclosed amount of money the day after the trial started, after the jury heard from Badness. Bagnell estimates there are at least 500,000 P320 pistols in police and civilian hands in the U.S., including here in Massachusetts. Court records show in separate incidents last year, Four Sig Sauer P320s purchased by police departments in Cambridge and Somerville fired without warning, without a trigger pull. Two of the officers sustained serious injuries. There's something seriously wrong with the design of this weapon. You know, four times in several months in neighboring cities is, is uh, extraordinary. Sig Sauer did not return multiple phone calls, but maintains its P320 is safe. On its website, the company calls it safety without compromise and says we've designed safety elements into every necessary feature on this pistol. The P320 won't fire unless you want it to. Bagnell says Sig Sauer should be recalling the P320s. Under federal law, firearms are not subject to mandatory government recalls. They are basically doubling, tripling, quadrupling down saying that the officer shot themselves. Sig Sauer did initiate a voluntary upgrade program in 2017, which it says corrected several safety issues that might cause the P320s to fire when dropped. However, our review found nine instances where guns fired without warning after they were upgraded. We spoke to federal police officer Peter Villani. He's been a firearms instructor for 35 years and is a Sig Sauer certified expert on P320 pistols. Last year, Villani investigated the firing of a P320 without a trigger pull in his own department and concluded the problem is simple but serious. The P320 is poorly manufactured. Either Sig Sauer or their subcontractors who made the parts for them never finished the parts and they basically put the parts in raw so that the surface contacts uh, weren't um, very finely tuned so that would cause slippage. Do you think these guns should be off the market? Yes. Why is it that you feel so strongly to speak out and educate people? Because I saw what it did to me and I, I saw what it did to my family and I don't want that to happen to anybody else. Cambridge police say they bought their P320s in 2018 after Sig Sauer upgraded the handgun. But the three incidents where the P320s fired without warning here in Cambridge happened the next year and remain under investigation. Despite that, the department tells five investigates the upgraded handgun exceeds the department's high safety standards. Mike Bodette, five investigates.